Welcome everyone. To download apps on your iPhone, let's start by opening up the App Store. And if you don't see this one here, swipe down from the middle and then search up for the App Store. And once we're in the App Store, I want you to tap on the Today button here. And once you've done this, check the top right hand side and see if your name shows up. And when we tap on our name, you should see your email, and that means we can proceed. If you have an option to sign in, then you will need to sign in with your Apple ID and password. If you did not create an Apple ID, no worries. You're going to open the settings, and there should be a sign in button, which shows here. And then it should have the option to create a new Apple ID or iCloud account, they are the same thing. And uh, just make sure you then sign in. Once we've signed in, you're gonna tap on the search and you have the suggested apps here, or you can search for the application you want. So let's say I want the Chase Bank. I'm gonna search up for the Chase and you're gonna see all of the apps here. So I'm going to tap on the get for this one. It's going to ask either to confirm with the side button or to enter in your Apple ID password or to confirm with your touch ID. So just follow whatever instructions you see here. I'm going to double click the side button and it seems like my face is not recognized. So I'm going to have to enter in the password for my Apple ID. And once we've done this, the application should start installing. So you're going to see the open option. You can open the app from the app store. But if you check your home screen, and if you just swipe across, you should see the app in your home screen. You can also swipe down from the middle and search for the app as well, if you'd like to. If you want to keep your home screen organized, then I want you to open the settings and from here, you're going to scroll all the way down until you see the home screen and app library, or this may just say home screen. And from here, you can set the newly downloaded apps to add to your home screen or add to your app library. And so if we turn this one on, I'll show you what it does. So I'm going to go into the app store and I'm going to download a new app. So let's say this one and my face. Oh, it worked that time. And so this new application will still install to my device, but it's not going to show in the home screen. You can see no app is showing. Instead, you will need to keep swiping left and you're going to keep swiping until you see this app library here. And we have a show in one of these folders. We can just search up for the app. You can see there it is right there. And if you want to add this app back to your home screen, you can long press on it and then drag it and then release. And you can see the app is now on my home screen. The final thing is you may have signed into your Apple ID, but you don't get the option to use your face ID or touch ID. Instead, it always wants a passcode. So if you have this problem, we can fix it. And to do that, you're gonna open the settings. And from here, I want you to scroll all the way down until you see touch ID or face ID and passcode. And in here, we need to enter in your passcode and just turn on this use face ID or touch ID for uh, make sure iTunes and App Store is turned on. And I'd recommend you turn on all of these four options that you see here. With that being said, if you'd like to help support the channel, please do check the description. Bye bye.